what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today with me here a package here from Apple.com Wow, I really like how they actually put this in the package It's a piece of uh, plastic, uh, like a tape See? The new iPhone SE This is so awesome 64 gig iPhone SE I got the black color one I really like the black color one And this is actually uh, my first time buying an iPhone uh, After like 6 years I guess So I got my old uh, iPhone SE over here Yeah this is my old iPhone SE so I'll be unboxing this and I'm really excited so there's like a piece of plastic over here that you can actually take it out yeah this is it okay are you guys ready? 3, 2, 1 Dun 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 dun. Okay. Designed by Apple in California, as usual. So everything here definitely is the manual. Whoa, 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 wow. Check this out. And it came in with the earpiece. Here. Right here. Definitely the USB in the plug and the cable as well. And look at the size uh, that I had here. Okay, I had a pink rose gold iPhone SE here, and this is much more uh, larger. Yeah, it's much more larger, and it's really light. <laughs> wow, and it's not that big. It's very thin yeah, and it's a bit rounded, rounded curve as well as you can see compared to the old iPhone SE I'm a huge fan of SE phones and I like home button so I like that nostalgic uh, feeling uh, many people will disagree with me uh, without the home button they are so used to it uh, I really like this it's so light just the weight itself is really uh, it's really nice to hold this yeah I don't like huge phones uh, it's just hard to you know uh, to do things on the phone yeah and yeah I can hold my hand just like that yeah and compared to my iPhone SE I can put everything like that see uh, just a little bit more my thumb is a bit struggling to my finger and for here definitely I can do this so that's the difference yeah so this is the iPhone SE and uh, yeah let's peel this off <sighs> slowly gently okay here we go just gonna put this thing uh, inside the box and this is my first time uh, switching on the phone and oh yeah they have this one camera over here this one camera okay let's switch it on Apple logo. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Go on, go on. Yeah, hello. Hello. Can you see this? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hola. So, just setting up everything. Bonjour. Okay. Continue. Welcome to Ivan, guys. Yeah, there you go. 
so we can click settings over here in general about so this is the new iPhone SE right from the box and I just open and you can check the battery as well yep the battery health Dun -dun. so it's 100% right 100% and yeah it's so fresh look at that so last charge level was 19 of March 2020 wow that was like a month ago that they actually tested this so it was 81% right from the uh, box that I just unboxed so I'll be charging the phone to 100% or I'll just use it first I, I always wanted to use this feature so it's the portrait because in my iPhone SE, the old iPhone SE version doesn't have any um, portrait mode and then as well as a uh, panel, photo, video, slow-mo, time-lapse so for video itself uh, we can switch here from top to bottom like 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second and yeah so let's try to take a portrait photo okay whoa what a flash <laughs> what a flash there's a selfie okay okay getting it oh this is nice oh what is this explore you can swipe a live photo okay yeah look at this photo I really like the uh, the blur background and then yeah this is the portrait effect and wow they, they kind of like show the aperture I guess over here on the top and yeah you can change the depth and you can feel like these vibrations on the phone when I did this it's as if like the lens is moving <laughs> okay so other than that, um, yeah, it's pretty much uh, just like the button is over here and then the volume is here and yeah, you can just switch the uh, button for silent or audio. Okay, it's really exciting and I want to really check on the camera itself. So I, I'm on the setting here the iPhone setting and they have the video up to 4k even at 16 frames per second 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second wow okay let's imagine to record a 4k over here definitely take up my space they have also a slow-mo at 1080 HD at 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second well, it's really great to make videos yeah Probably I'll be making videos, uh, YouTube videos with this phone in the future. I guess so. And yeah, and this is really awesome. 4K. Wow. I never really had a 4K uh, camera iPhone. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't like uh, upgrade uh, my iPhone actually. So like uh, the reason why because it's really costly. I mean like. Um, this iPhone 6, I, I did use 6 and 7 before but those were just uh, the second hand one the one that I bought um, somewhere in the shop uh, it was really affordable uh, but still uh, not much of a functionality I mean I, one thing I like about iPhone is because of the camera because I'm a photographer, videographer and as well as a video editor as well so I really like pictures and videos and when I travel uh, I like to take photos real quick and do short videos real quick as well so um, in terms of quality um, you know I didn't really upgrade my iPhone so it was like you know 6, 7 and then 8, 9 and then like 11 and then the Pro I really like the Pro one but it's huge 
I, I, my friend had one and I hold it and I was like wow I, I can't I can barely even hold it in my palm uh, you know it's too huge I, I'm just worried because uh, when I use iPhone 7 the phone uh, kind of like slip off from my hand <laughs> so I'm afraid that uh, uh, it's hard for me to grip on the phone and for this phone itself I think it's really nice for this one it's also nice to grip yeah, for this one I think I'll get used to it uh, but I kind of like really had a good grip over here that's the most important and yeah it's fast too as well and other than that uh, you can look at the all the stuff over here and I'll be uh, doing uh, iTunes as in like iCloud backup from my phone and to transfer all the apps from here definitely and we'll be start using this uh, ASAP uh, but I also bought a wallet that I wanted to share with you guys this came in like a week ago so like I bought this wallet uh, the reason why I'm starting to use this RFID wallet is because uh, I want to put all my bank cards over here so I want to go like cashless and travel, put my SIM cards and everything. So when I try to put this on my phone, it looks really bad. So with the new iPhone SE, putting this on the back, I think it's really perfect. <laughs> Maybe you would disagree with me. Maybe I should buy, I'll, I'll buy like a casing or something. I don't know. But this is like good enough for me to just, you know, flip this thing over. And then just like, uh, ta-da, you know, ta-da. <laughs> okay, so this iPhone SE is really, really impressive for me at a very good price at, at uh, six hundred dollars Singapore dollars for US dollars three ninety nine. We have sixty four GB, one hundred twenty eight GB, and two hundred fifty six GB as well, and um, and they have in black color, white color, and as well as red in color. Yeah. So uh, it's really, really nice to see Apple to actually um, uh, still uh, build this in production. I think with the current situation, uh, COVID-19, I think it's kind of like really smart to push on Apple product as much as the economy is not doing very well. And I really miss uh, Apple product being like not expensive super expensive but just affordable so like i would probably spend 600 dollars on a phone i mean i'm not a really huge fan of other phones uh, the reason why is because of the design as i'm a designer as well and uh, i like apple as a brand because of the simplicity the minimal as well as um, the way they do things is so different so in terms of security and privacy and other than that it's like I like the camera yeah look at how everything here is all rounded the corners are rounded compared to the old ISE everything is like uh, a bit rectangular I might like say that it's like kind of like flat you see the design you can see everything here so uh, this is really nice and uh, what else should I say about this phone yeah I got my uh, earpiece as well over here so oh so they came with this this uh, jack over here compared to the the old one the SE they have the 3.5 mm jack and for here they don't have any uh, jack over here like 3.5 mm jack as you can see it's just uh, the cable for the cable slot over here so so you can just take this thing out unboxing the earpiece as well just pull this thing out over here Right. Wow, this thing is tight. Okay, got it. Just gonna bring this, this little earpiece out. 
and there you go so right straight from the jack over here but then yeah so hopefully uh, I also have enough money to actually uh, buy airpods well I'm gonna do uh, that probably in mid future but um, there's so many news about airpods as well there's like the new airpod pro and yeah the noise cancellation thingy I tried it is really good as well but it's costly for me for a year piece for like three hundred dollars yeah so uh, this cable looks great too it's new and fresh great so so guys this is the iPhone SE so I ordered it online directly from apple.sg and it came uh, one week just one week and uh, and the DHL guy uh, the delivery guy came knocking and just signed some document or something like the e-signature thingy yeah I just signed and done you get the parcel and yeah it's so great to order things online uh, directly from Apple so thank you so much guys for watching if you have any questions uh, about iPhone SE uh, you can let me know if not you can just subscribe my YouTube channel uh, that would be great uh, to subscribe my YouTube channel yeah and do leave your comment below and I'm really happy and grateful to have the iPhone the new iPhone SE it's really awesome that's all for now. Take care. Bye-bye.